What's up you guys? It's Sarah. How you doing? I am so excited to make this video today because I just finished A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Brigitte Kimmerer and it was amazing and I have so much to say on it. For those of you who don't know, A Curse So Dark and Lonely is a spin-off of the Beauty and the Beast tale. It follows a prince who is cursed and every season he turns into a beast and it follows a girl who is from the mortal world and she gets taken to this enchanted world and he has to fall in love with her and she has to fall in love with him to break the spell and it's the classic Beauty and the Beast but it's got like this modern twist on it and it's wonderful and so heartfelt and I just had so much fun with this book and if you haven't heard of it I don't know where you've been it's been really popular it's a trilogy right now they've got three books out and I'm so excited to read all of them I got this book for vacation and so I flew through it and I'm so so excited to talk about it with you guys so if that sounds interesting to you you can stick around and check it out with me or or if you don't want to be spoiled, you can hop out now and come back when you've read the book. Can you tell? I like can't wait. I can't even do a full summary on it because I just want to dive into spoilers because so much happened and I'm so excited. So come back when you've read the book and if you've already read it, great. We're going to talk about it right now. Let go. First of all, I just want to say I really like our characters, Harper and Ren and Grey. Oh my god, I have so much to talk about, but Harper. I love her. I think she's a great, strong female character, and she has this cerebral palsy, which I think is great. You know, it's good representation. We can talk about it, learn what it is. I only barely knew what it was, and then I read this book, and I gain more knowledge on it and she's also like still such a badass like it doesn't hold her back and that's kind of the whole point of showing that and I just I really liked that and I could really appreciate that so that was great let's talk about Ren my boy Ren he's our prince he is gorgeous I was picturing him sort of like Dan Stevens when he first like comes back from being the beast with like the long hair and kind of sort of like shabby and just all all the attractiveness I could not I was so in love with Ren but then but then we have Grey, who's equally as awesome. Grey is just wonderful. And I loved how she called him Scary Grey. And I love how he was like, Ren, you know how I got her to play cards with me? I sat down and I asked her if she wanted to play cards. Like, I love them. I love them so much. I love them all. I don't know what to do with all these feelings. I hope that it's not too much of a love triangle. It seems like it's leading us that way because we got Grey who's gonna be king it looks like and he clearly has this thing going on with Harper but then like she and Ren have this thing and I am team Ren for sure but I want a character to be as equally as badass and awesome for Grey. I'm thinking it's gonna be one of the two girls we met. At the end of the book I had a bonus chapter in my book and then there's two sisters, they're two princesses, and one's gonna be queen, and there's a redhead, and there's a dark-haired girl. And the dark-haired girl is like, she's said to be the one that's gonna take the throne. She knows what's up, she's got it going on, but I think the red-headed girl's actually gonna end up leading, and hopefully her and Grey can be together. I don't know, I think Grey deserves the best, but I'm also team Ren for Harper, so I'm so excited to see where that goes. Because Ren and Harper are just so good together, like, they have all these subtle touches that I just... I, I can't. I love when romance is new and when it's fresh and exciting and there's all these like subtle touches that are so like amazing and when he was helping her off the horse and he like gets her down and he's like holding her and she's like all of a sudden he's like really close to me and she's like thank you and he's like yeah you're welcome and then they just like stand there for a second like I was dead. I was dying. I'm deceased. I love it. And the dialogue in this book is so good between Grey and Ren and Harper. Like they all just have so many good lines. I love the line where Harper like climbs down the trellis and I think it was Ren but I don't know if it was Ren or Grey. One of them is like you climb down the trellis and Harper's like fell fell down the trellis. Like, it's so good. We got page 152 here. We got some bickering going on and I love it. It's between Harper and Ren. Lego. He, she goes, I'm still mad at you. Truly? He folds his- I'm gonna paraphrase this. He folds his arms and he's back against the door. Let us resolve that. She stands, her expression fierce. You told Grey to cut off my arm. I did not. After telling me that bringing someone food was going to start an international incident- My lady. And, by the way, I love the my lady. So great. And then you rode off without telling us where you were going. I sigh. Are you quite done? No. And when you get here, you sat by the fire and you wouldn't even speak to me until some armed men came barging in, which you stopped. I just love it. There's so many there's so many passages like this in the book. I just love it. They just they made me smile. And like I said, I love the my lady thing. It was just wonderful to picture someone from the modern day being called my lady all the time. And she at the beginning when she was like, "You don't have to call me my lady." And he was like, 
you're either a whore or you're a servant or you're a princess so like tell me what you want to be I love it. And there's that scene when Gray's teaching Harper how to throw knives, which is so cool, and Ren's watching from the window and he's like, she seems pleased. Gray seems pleased. I am not pleased. So good! I have a note in my notebook when I was reading this book, I was taking notes, and I have a note that says, I love Ren, dot dot dot. But Grey is kind of a badass, and it's so true, like, you want Ren and Harper to be together, but then there's Grey, who just deserves all the happiness in the world, he's so loyal and so wonderful, and it's like... I kind of am liking this Grey character, like, I gotta lie here! I love how she helps him with the kingdom and the people, and like, getting his kingdom back together and helping the people, and she shows him how he has to take care of the people, and he kind of shows her that it's not as easy as it seems. That whole dynamic, I love that. I love that she pretends to be a princess from DC. I love it. Just so many feel-good moments. Like, you can't help but smile when you read this book. When she takes off his armor and they dance! I can't. I can't. I was so excited during this scene. I'm like, yes, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen, and then they didn't kiss, but it's fine because they kiss later. When they share a bed. I love this trope. This is a great trope. So overdone. There's only one bed. There's only ever one bed. Don't care. Love it. I love when she's like, I grew used to hearing him breathe next to me, and she's like, you know, you can take the bed if you want, and they just end up sharing it. Like, I just... And Lilith is like awful but like such a good villain and then Harper goes back to see her family and her brother's in trouble and so she helps him but then he doesn't really believe her and then Grey shows up just bloodied and awful and then Noah has to step up and I love Noah and I hope we see more from Noah and Jake's kind of annoying but I hope we see more from Noah. So then we're reaching the end and Grey and Lilith are facing off and Grey's like I'll go with you like take me instead and then stab him but then she actually does take him and like we don't know where Grey is for a while and then we see at the end that he just like wakes up at his mother's house but she's not actually his mother so much happened and i'm so excited that gray is gonna be king about to take his rightful place i am so on board for this another line i love is jake says to ren jake's trying to be all like badass but ren's the real badass and jake's like if she dies like i'm gonna kill you and ren who could literally take this dude no problem could fall him flat on his butt ren's just like I'll hand you the blade. The question is, how did the curse break? Did the curse break because Lilith died? Which we pretty much are sure is not the case because we see in the chapter with the sisters that Lilith went to visit their mom. So did Harper like fall in love with Ren? Or is it Grey? Because Grey is the rightful heir. Like, I don't know. I got a lot of questions. I'm so excited to read the next one, you guys. I haven't been so excited about a book series in so long. And what made this even better is that I love Beauty and the Beast. And I was watching the live action Beauty and the Beast by Disney, which was just so close to my heart. I love Dan Stevens and I love Emma Watson and I love that movie. And I watched it right before I read this, which was just so much more magical. And I was listening to the soundtrack and reading this and it's not a perfect parallel. They take things, they change things, they make things better. It's just a fun spinoff. And you guys, I had so much fun with it. I had all of the fun. So tell me what you thought in the comments below. Do you agree with me on all my thoughts? What do you think of this book? I give it an A for sure. I can't wait to read the next one. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And if this video made you smile, give it a big thumbs up for me because it is free and that stuff matters. And if you want to stick around and see what I think of the next thing that I review, you can hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every Thursday. And as you can tell, if you've made it to the end of this video, we have a ball over here on my channel. So I would love for you to join me. If you want to follow me over on social media, on Instagram, I am at the underscore writing corner and if you want to follow me on Twitter or TikTok the handle is the same it's at Sarah M Caroline and that is Sarah with an H. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me like I said if you want to comment something in the comments below I would absolutely love to hear from you I will also put the social media links in the description for you as well so it is easy I hope you are staying safe and healthy and happy and getting through this pandemic I think we're almost out of it but it'll probably be until 2022 so if you want to hang out with me until then, I will keep you busy when you are bored. I'll talk to you next week. I hope you have a great day. Talk to you on Thursday. Bye!